your liner is like. Yeah? Yeah. Can you please be quiet? I'm trying to film over I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm doing the edit over here. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Retarded. Hey Wanderers, welcome back to our channel. Today, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> today is Veda, I'm not even sure. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> So I am going to do a cute little tag for you guys today. It's called the 20 questions mommy tag. And I like this tag just because there's a lot of really interesting questions in the tag. It's like, it's about me as a mother. So let's get into it. Mom or a working mom. I've always been a stay at home mom, but I'm going to classify myself partly as a working mom now just because of the way YouTube has worked out for me and Mariah and we do set aside days where it's just me and her all we do is YouTube we have someone take care of our children um, and being partnered and all that we need to put a lot of effort into our videos or more effort into our videos so stay-at-home mom but part-time working mom <laughs> would you have it any other what? I said a YouTube mom <laughs> yes a YouTube mom would you have it any other way um I used to always think like I really want to go back to work and I just I need that time away from my kids so that they can be with other people and I can socialize with other people but lately I really just I'm at peace with the fact that I get time with Mariah and I get to see my other friends on occasion and I'm just or we're both really focused on YouTube and it's something we really are passionate about so I'm just kind of I'm okay with the way things are and I'm happy about it so do you co-sleep? Not currently, just because Keegan is over a year old and Maya is two and a half. We did co-sleep when they were babies. It was just so much easier for me because Dan was away all week working. Um, so I would put them to sleep in their bed or Keegan actually slept in his car seat a lot. Um, and then if they woke up, I would bring them into bed with me and snuggle with them. And I was breastfeeding Keegan in the beginning, so it was just so much easier to have him in bed with me. One must have gear for baby. I would definitely say you need a jolly jumper or an extra saucer. It saved me. Maya had the extra saucer for a long time. It was a lifesaver. Keegan was in the extra saucer in the beginning, and then he just was obsessed with the jolly jumper for the longest time. He would wake up at like 6.30 in the morning. We would put him in the jolly jumper. He would be watching Mickey. I would pass out on the couch, and two and a half hours later, I would wake up, and he'd still be just chilling and jumping and watching Mickey and having a good time. So that definitely saved us. Number five, how many kids do you plan on having? I always thought I just wanted two. Dan always just wanted one. Um, and Dan and I have been talking recently about when I'm done with my schooling and I've worked for a couple years, maybe having another. He adamantly says no, he does not want any more kids. I could honestly have one more when Maya is eight or nine, maybe. That would be like a good age gap. Um, I mean, it's one of those things we're going to have to talk about because if I want another baby, he needs to be understanding of that. And at the same time, if he doesn't want another baby, I need to understand that. But we somehow have to kind of meet on even ground. So I don't really know what's going to happen. Date night. How many nights or days per month? Um, we don't really have date nights. It's hard to find someone who will watch both of our children, and they're both kind of funny with who puts them to bed. I'm really the only one who they will go to sleep for, unless they're beyond exhausted. So, we kind of just make it a thing that after they're in bed, that is our time together. He plays his game for a little bit, I do YouTube and cleaning and whatnot, and then we watch a movie, or we play video games, or we just talk about what's been going on. So, kind of every night to a degree. Number seven, your child's favorite show. So right now, Maya is loving the Homeward Bound movies, number one and number two. Um, she just loves watching the dogs and the cats. Keegan, I don't know, he's always kind of just watched everything. He used to love Mickey, not so much anymore. So basically just whatever Maya is watching. Number eight, name one thing you bought before you had your baby and you never ended up using. With Maya, the very first thing we bought, I was like 12 weeks pregnant, and we bought the pack and play with the bassinet. Never used it. We ended up selling it to a woman who bought it for her granddaughter to play with her dolls. And it was like $350 when we bought it. Um, and with Keegan, the swing. We never put him in the swing, I don't think. It was 
always just kind of the car seat that he would lay in, and we would put blankets down to make it more comfortable for him so he wasn't, like, strapped in, obviously. So, yeah. Number nine, your child's favorite food. Maya, it is definitely yogurt. We buy the Oikos yogurt cups, Greek yogurt. She's obsessed. Keegan, um, between cheese and strawberries, that's his new favorite foods that he, like he will just devour them. How many cars does your family have? Technically we have two, um, but only one that we drive, and when I say we, I mean Dan because I'm not on the insurance. Eventually I will have my own vehicle that is strictly mine that I pay for with my own insurance, but obviously right now I just can't afford it with all my own bills and the things that the kids need with the little check that I get each month, so. Waking before pregnancy, during, after, and now. Oh, lordy lord. Okay, well, I gained 23 pounds with Maya, I believe, and I lost all of it and then some after I had her. I can't remember numbers. With Keegan, I gained 30, and I lost all of it. And now I'm like 105. I kind of fluctuate a little bit, but generally 105, I believe. Well, that must be nice. <laughs> Dream vacation with your kiddos. Hmm. Honestly, I think it would be great to take them somewhere a little bit, like when they're a little bit older, like Disneyland or Disney World, I guess. It is Disney World? They have two different ones, Disneyland and Disney World. Which one's better? <laughs> Disney World. Yeah, I would think world. Disney World. Yeah, I think something like that would be great for them, something they could remember, lots of photos, doing YouTube, lots of videos. Dream vacation without the kiddos. We never had a honeymoon because we opted to buy a house instead. So I think just anywhere tropical, um, somewhere I can go down in the shark cages, I think that would be like the best vacation ever for me and Dan, swimming with turtles. Um, anything like that would be amazing. How has your life changed since your babies have been born? Well, it's changed in every way possible. Um, I don't even really know how to answer this question. There's so much more of everything. So much more love, so much more fear, so much more exhaustion. Um, it's all for the better in the end, obviously. I wouldn't trade my kids for anything. Um, like mine and Dan's relationship is different. Everything, you, you can't even pinpoint one thing. Everything just changes in so many different ways. And even though some days are so exhausting and some days you could just blow up, you're so angry. At the end of the day, when your children are cuddled up with you or they're sleeping in their bed, it's just so worth it. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see, um, it makes my heart melt to see my children loving each other. Like when Keegan just, runs up to Maya and gives her a hug, or Maya is playing with Keegan and she just says, Keegan, kiss, kiss Keegan, and they give each other a kiss, like that is, you just die, like it's the perfect moment, you wish you could have caught it on camera, it just makes everything worth it. Where do you shop for your kids? Generally the only place I shop for my kids is Bonnie Togs, which is Carter's and Oshkosh. I don't know why, I don't have anything against any other stores, I just love their quality, I love their prices, and I love the atmosphere of the store. 17. Your favorite mommy makeup and skincare products? Oh, everything. I love mm -hmm. any type of face mask. Um, I'm loving the Frank's Coffee Scrub. Um, I just love my makeup in general. Um, if you watch any of my favorites videos or my makeup routine, you'll see the products that I use. I just feel like mothers should have that time to pamper themselves. Whether you wear makeup or not, go for a facial, go for a massage. Do an at-home facial. Have you always wanted kids? I'm pretty sure I knew I wanted kids since I was 13 or 14. I would watch all these moms on YouTube. I would watch, as bad as it sounds, I love the Teen Mom series. absolutely love it. Um, I feel like a lot of those women have come a long way since being so young and having their kids. But I do feel like you need to make sure you are financially and mentally stable enough to have a child. I know some things happen, but you just really need to weigh out whether you are ready. Number 20, best part about being a mom. I kind of touched on this earlier, it's everything. It's every emotion, every feeling, everything your kids do, whether it's good or bad. Um, at the end of the day, it just, they complete you. And I haven't met a person who has said to me that their kids don't complete them. Your kids just, 
they are everything about you, um, there's no love like the love between a parent and their child. The love Dan and I have is completely different from the love me, Maya, and Keegan have, and it's just one of those things that it doesn't matter what they do, I will never stop loving them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing tags like this. I thought it was super cute. I am tagging Spaldo Fam and Britain Babe to do this tag video, and leave the link below so that we can check it out. And if you are a subscriber and you have done this tag before, then leave your link below. I will check it out for sure, and we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.